I hate to sound like a psychological idiot here. Why is anxiety often paired with depression? So fear is the original emotion in the animal kingdom. Very important for survival when there's a real threat. But fear has multiple parts to it. One of them is the alarm system, let's call it. You're scanning the environment for what could be a threat. And that is almost entirely learned. Parts of your brain are always monitoring the environment for threats and opportunities. And if you're in an area where you've been attacked before, now you're on high alert. And that might make sense if there really is danger there. But what happens if your brain gets set so that almost anywhere new, it's thinking, danger, danger, be on alert, be on alert. That's going to put you in defend mode. You're not going to learn as much. You're not going to be open to making friends. You're going to be in a very defensive posture. And that will wear you down. And it also destroys your quality of life. If it gets more severe, if you get actual panic attacks because your brain is acting like you're about to be attacked, you can't live your life that way. It's going to wear you down. What is known in clinical psychology is that depressive disorders and anxiety disorders tend to go together. And that's not just an experience, it's also genetically. Some people are prone to be depressed and anxious, and it'll depend on what their life circumstances are. And some are much less likely to be that. And whatever the common genes are, they support both depression and anxiety disorders. And so when someone is depressed, they tend to be anxious. And if somebody's anxious for a long time, they're more likely to be depressed, although not necessarily. Most people who have an anxiety disorder aren't depressed.